Hello friends, so today we are going to discuss this question. Problem name given length of sum of digits. So in this question, you are given a positive integer m and a non-negative integer s. Your task is to find the smallest and the largest of the numbers. Numbers that have the length m and sum of the digits s. So you are given two inputs m and s so you have to output a two digit number whose sum of the digits is equal to s and if it's not possible you have to print minus and minus so as you can see in this question you have to output a two digit number out the sum is 15 it's 6 and 9 9 and 6 the smallest and the largest possible and if you output a three digit number with some zero like it's not possible so minus and minus so let's make this question more clear with some examples i have written down some examples here with m equal to 2 and pi s equal to 15 so that's the same example so we will mark two places because we have to fill a two digit number now for finding the maximum for finding the maximum what we can do is our main strategy is to fill the digits with the maximum digit possible okay so what we can do is, is we can put 9 here. Can we put 9 here? If we have a make a sum of 15, yes, we can put. We put 9 here. Now, if, if we have put 9 here, how many digits are remaining? 15 minus 15 minus uh, 6, uh, 15 minus 9, which is equal to 6. So, can you put 6 here? Yes. So that's the maximum digit we can get, maximum number we can get if we have a two digit number and the sum is 15. Cool. So now what's our basic intuition to find the minimum number? To find the minimum number, if this is the maximum, we just swap it. If we swap it, the minimum number will be 69. Okay. Now for 3 and 0, as we as you know, like no 3 digit number can have all zeros because there is a case that you do not have a leading zeros without leading zeros. So you cannot put 0, 0, 0 here. So this is not possible. You have to print minus 1, minus 1. But if the case is this, only one place and you have a 0 available. So in this case, the maximum and minimum both are zero. So this is possible, but this is not possible. I hope you understand understanding. Let's see this example. So now we have three places and we have a sum of two. Okay. So can we put nine here? So our basic intuition is we first have to put nine here. But can you put nine here? No, because we have a sum of two. So what's our basic intuition will be? We just put two here. If we put two here, so what we are doing is we are finding out the maximum the max of 9 comma what is our sum at that stage so if like let's assume we have 3 digit number and the sum is 15 so we find out what is the maximum of 15 and 9 so what's the maximum of 15 and 9 9 so we put 9 here and we subtract 15 from 9 so what's the answer at 6 so now we have a place here to fill 6 so if we fill 6 here we cannot fill this place so that's not possible I hope you I hope you are getting my point so now what we can do is okay so now then we find out the maximum of 9 comma 6 and the maximum is 6 Sorry, we have to find out the minimum. We have to find out, sorry, the minimum. 9 and 15 is 9, then it's 6. Then we have to again subtract 9, 6 because our new number is 6. 6 minus 6 is 0. So what is the minimum again of
मिनिमम ऑफ नाइन कॉमा जीरो जीरो हो गया सो दैट्स द मिनिमम सो इफ यू वांट टू फाइंड द नंबर ऑफ थ्री डिजिट उस समय फिफ्टीन दैट्स द नंबर सो दैट्स द ग्रेटेस्ट नंबर नाइन सिक्स जीरो ओके ना इफ यू वॉन्ट टू फाइंड आउट द स्मॉलेस्ट नंबर आई बेसिक इंट्यूशन इज जस्ट रिवर्स इट सो द नंबर विल बिकम जीरो सिक्सटी नाइन and yes it's the smallest number possible but we cannot have leading zeros so what we can do is we want this number to become one because if we want the smallest and we don't want it to be like zero so we want to become it one so we move from this position and find the just leftmost digit which is available greater than equal to zero so this is greater than equal to zero digit available we subtract one from it We we make it five, and we increment this one because we have to conserve the total sum. So now our minimum will become one, five, nine. I hope you understand what I'm doing because I have to make the smallest greater than equal to zero. So we we try to make it one, and we find the next left most digit from left, which is greater than equal to zero, greater than zero. So we subtract here one. And make this one, the first digit one. So now this is the smallest, most possible value or minimum. So that's the main logic. Let's try to run it, code it. So what we do is, okay, we first take the input of M and S. M and S. Now we check if our first condition is. If s is zero, so if s is zero, and if m is equal to one, then it's possible. So we see out one because one is possible only. Oh, zero, zero, and it on. Else, in any other case except one, m equal to one with s equal to zero, it's not possible. So we output minus one. Okay. Now we make two string maxi to store the maximum number and mini to store the minimum number. So we do a for loop. And as I've told you, we first find out k. Which is the minimum of nine and the s which is present. Okay, now we push that number in maxi, which is the string, and we make this character k plus k, and now we subtract this value from s because we have taken it out. So now if After all these transitions, still s is greater than zero, and we have not even able to fill it. It means like we have fill all the digits with nine 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 nine. So like if there are two digit number available, and we have twenty seven sum. So if we fill with this nine and nine, it's equal to nine eighteen. But still we have more s, and we cannot fill. So it means this is not possible. Okay. Now, if we have check with this condition, now we want a mini. So we have to first reverse it. M minus one, i greater than equal to zero, i minus minus, and uh, mini dot push back maxi of i. So we have reversed and put in mini. Then we have to find out the leftmost non-zero number. So while mini of j is equal to zero, j plus plus, and after this, what we do is mini of zero is plus plus, and mini of j is minus, and at last we print out. Let's run this code and 
check for this giving correct answer. Let's try to submit it. Project accepted. I hope you understand the logic. If you still have any doubts, please mention it down in the comment box. I'll try to rectify it as soon as possible. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.